Hi guys, the name is Mark and effectively um, we're just going to do another video here, nothing on anything particular, but if you apply to become this person who is the subject we've established, that makes you a slave. And we're just going to use simple words here, and how do we know this, because we're going to go like this. And it starts off service, just like service credit unions, the bank out there, and it says service, S-E-R-V-U-S, serve us, pretty clear. Roman law, a slave. A human being who was property and could be bought, sold, pledged, and testated. A Roman slave who was formerly freed became a Roman citizen. So you're freed from one form of slavery into another, which was the Roman citizen slash Bill of Rights like in the States. And people think, oh, well, I've got a Bill of Rights. No, they have a Bill of Rights to bill you for their rights when you get out of line because you are serving them. It's just that simple. So... You guys, this comes from Black's Law 8, I've got them all, but you can see this. And clearly, service, slaves, they deal in slaves. A human being who is property, a slave, and a human being who is property and could be bought, sold, pledged, and testated. Wow, that's pretty crazy stuff. So now we're just going to go like this, and we're going to go, we'll close the Black's 8, and then we're going to come into Black's 2, and I'm going to show you something here, because we're going to come into... Well, I guess we're going to come into this. We'll come into bond. And we'll go like this. I'm going to make things fairly snappy for you here, people. And I want you to see these words. Because if you think you're not a slave when you've applied for that birth certificate or had one sent into the mail to you and you've opened it, I'm sorry, you're a slave hook, line, and sinker. And you can see how all these words deal with slaves, slavery, and you. And here we go. Now it says bond, a contract by specialty to pay a certain sum of money, being a deed or instrument under seal by which the maker or obliger promises, and thereto binds himself, his heirs, executors, and administrators to pay a designed sum of money to another. So if you've signed up for that, that you get to pay. And then it says uh, blah, blah, blah. Then underneath it comes in the word, like look at the word, service, slaves. Bondage, slavery, age of the bond. Slavery, involuntary personal servitude. There's a word we're going to look up. I like to, if I see a word in here like that I don't understand, I, I, I look it up and then it'll take me into another word I don't understand. Then you start putting the big picture together. So slavery, involuntary personal servitude, and then it says captivity. Would you voluntarily sign up if you knew that you were going to be a captive? And then it goes on to say, bondsman. So now you're a man of the bond if you have applied to agree to be that surety to that bond, and surely that will smart. And it says surety. One who has entered into a bond is a surety. Well, when you look at your birth certificate, it's on bond paper. Not only is it on bond paper, it is a bond, and it's a banknote, and it's called legal tender. It's not your tender. It's their tender. But if you sign up to apply for this, that would make you a pretender with their tender. So anyhow, people... So now that we've established that, and then it goes on to say, the word seems to apply especially to the sureties upon the bonds of officers. So if you become a servitude, you've agreed to be an employee slash officer slash trustee. You've been entrusted to look after their bonds and their bullshit. And key words, it says, the word seems to apply. Well, let's look at the words here. Let's look at this. Who can apply? Well, the word seems to apply here, and it would apply if you have rocked up and applied to become the person who is a man who is the subject of the birth certificate, and we've read all that. So now what we're going to do here is we're just going to look at this, and uh, then it says, while bail should be reserved for the sureties on recognizances and bail bonds. So, oh, they'll be nice. They'll, they'll release you. They'll offer you bail if the arrest is unlawful, because they don't deal in the law. They deal in bylaws, so whoever buys the law... And if you are a sinner, well, then you can apply for bail. So, my God, people, if that's not a ticket to slavery, a ticket to jail, the whole nine yards. Now, we're going to close this, and we'll minimize that. And like I say, people, I'm just trying to make this as snappy as possible. And then we're going to come up to servitude in page 28. And we're going to see what this says. And I hope all you guys can see this. Servitude. So you know that you're being subject, we've established what a subject is, and servitude. It says, the condition of being bound to service. 
the state of a person which is a man obviously we've we've determined that who is subjected there's that keyword subject subjected voluntarily or otherwise to another person as his servant now who do ants serve they serve the queen ant and they're called defendants so you can see what we're going here with servitude now we're going to come to servit servitus and it says latin in civil law, that's all civil law with the birth certificate because it deals with one word, money. And then it says, in the civil law, slavery, bondage, the state of service, defined as an institution. Oh, they're an institution, all right. Institution of madmen of the conventional law of nations by which one person is subjected to the dominion of another, contrary to a natural right. So if you people are rocking up and you just think, oh, I'm not a slave, and their service again in Black's Law 2, this is Black's Law 2, and it says Latin, in the Civil and Old English Law, a slave, a bondman. We even, we just came from the bond, and so obviously if you're a holder of that bond and you've applied as we've established, well, that makes you a liar and a bondholder, and you are a bond servant. You're nothing but an ant, people. So now let's come back into this for a second and then we're going to look at something else here. I just want to take a look at like another word here and then uh, we'll, we're, we're going to come to uh, we'll come to surety ship I guess and I've showed this before but this is for the newbies guys so just bear with me and we're going to go like this and you can see this is all a slave's language man. Slave's language probably going right back to Egypt and we're going to go like this and we're going to look up what well, we've looked up before, and surety ship, surety ship, and it says the contract of surety ship is that whereby one obligates himself to pay the debt of another. You must have rocks in your head. You've agreed to be a slave, hence serve us, and pay the debt of, in the hands of another. So they don't even have any money, but then they go on to say one obligates himself to pay the debt of another in consideration of credit. Well, where's this credit if it's all debt? Now, indulgence? Oh, there's a ton of indulgence here, guys, because you're dealing with Good old stupid Windows 8. I tell you, app needs an, uh, yeah, my ass. Anyhow, so you guys can see where we're going with this. Every word just deals with something. And even, um, let's go into person now. And we're going to zoom up here. And we're going to come into this and just watch what it says here, people. And watch this. So if you've applied and we've established who liars are, we're going to go like this. There it says, person, a man considered according to the rank he holds in society because he's a bondsman with all the rights to which the place he holds entitles him. And the duties, well, we've established duties which are imposed are for slaves. Then it says, a human being considered as capable of having rights and of being charged with duties. So they're going to come along, they're going to charge you, and they say there's no such thing as a debtor's prison. Well, if you don't pay that debt to the government of Canada, they will throw you into a debtor's jail. They've established your slaves. And it says, a human being considered as capable of having rights. So you got no rights. So you're running around claiming that you're as human, and it's all about the persona people. And of course we have artificial purchases such as are created and derived by law for the purposes of society and government called corporations or bodies politic. Well obviously that's the United States government, the government of Canada, and every other government out there who is unlawful. And even persona, civil law, character is the virtue of which certain rights belong to a man, certain duties are imposed upon him. Thus one which may unite many characters. Oh my God, so they're going to start bringing up these characters all right. And you know what they're called, people? They're called, right here, legal identities. So, people, if you want to be a persona, you want to be a facade, and you want to live a second identity, which you probably didn't have enough with the first one, and you can see, people, that this whole system deals with nothing 
nothing, nothing but slavery. You look up one word after another and it ties in. Certificate, 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 bond, 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 slave, 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 chattel, chattel, chattel. It just doesn't stop. And this doesn't even involve wordplay. This is straight from the straight from the horse's mouth, which is Black's Law 2 and Black's Law 8. So now that you guys know you are quite potentially slaves if you have applied and agreed to be a liar for a certificate to agree to be the person who we've established as a man, what are you going to do about it? That's the question. What are you going to do about it? And that's not my concern. This is your concern. I'm just laying this on the table. Now that you know you're an out, outright full blown out slave, what are you going to do about it? So I'm going to leave you guys think about that. Till then, I send everybody much peace, love, respect always. And this goes out to everybody, even officers on the street. You think you're not a slave just serving some master? You might want to look up the term master. You might want to look up the term slave. Obviously, everything to do with this system deals with app liars. App lie can'ts, and they can't lie afterwards after they've subjugated themselves to state that they're lower than a piece of paper and that they are the piece of paper. So, till then, keep your heads up, your sticks on the ice, and I hope this video finds everybody well. Cheers. Bye.